All right, just making a quick video. And this new Jackery solar panel, um, this is kind of a unique offering from Jackery and something new, right? Uh, I know a lot of you have said like, you know, Jackery doesn't innovate and stuff like that, but but yeah, take a look at this this uh, this new panel they've got because and this thing is actually a glass bifacial panel, right? So they still offer the you know their standard 100 watt panel. Now this one's only 80 watts, right? So it is down on a little bit of power. But there's going to be pros and cons to this this setup, right? So um, yeah, let's just talk about it, right? So you know the first the first thing to note is that you know with this bifacial glass panel is you can actually get power in from the backside as well, right? Not just from you know direct from the front. And um, you know one of the big advantages that a, a setup like this has is that if you're in a situation where you have like just like a lot of uh, intermittent shade from you know trees and stuff like that and as the sun moves through the sky it just you know in the wind and stuff like that it just makes it um, you know almost impossible to, to constantly have this thing exposed to full direct sun because as you know if you get just like a little bit of shading on, on these solar panels you know that can like dramatically drop the output you know like it can reduce it by like 80 or 90 percent right so um, when you have a bifacial design like that, you know, where the majority of the panels um, still get in full sun, then you know you're going to be getting a lot of reflected light off the back, right? And um, so that can really help, like, um, offset that and, and, and actually negate that, that drop. Uh, I mean, of course, if you're getting a little bit of shade on the unit, you're still going to see some drop, but it's not going to be like a devastating drop like you, you typically see with most solar panels, right? So that's just one big pro right to having this bifacial design um, and then the, the second one is that actually this thing is ip68 rated right so um this is actually the the first kind of uh, you know portable panel that jackery's come out with where you can just leave this thing out in the rain right i mean if you got some kind of setup where you just want to leave this thing out um, and just you know never deal with it this is this is the panel right <laughs> this is the one because the other ones their other panels, they're only IP65, which basically means, you know, if, if, if they get some water splashed on them or if they're out in some light rain, like temporarily, you know, it's not going to be a problem. But you're not going to leave that out in the weather, right? And then just to just kind of move on, here they talk about how it's got 25% um, efficiency. So, and this is just because of the fact that, you know, you're basically getting like 2% from, from the reflection right there. Because, um, you know, most of these panels are, are, are about 23%. So, yeah, let's just keep moving. And there it is, the, the IP68. So, don't have to worry about it getting wet. And then, um, yeah, so they're just showing here. And actually, um, what I didn't mention yet either is that the reflective case that you see in the background, you know, that's actually the storage bag. So, they're kind of having a, a dual use for that, which is kind of a, an innovative thing in itself. And um, so basically, you know, you got the sun coming in, hitting the front side like normal, but then the idea is the case is set up to, um, you know, help reflect some of the, the, the light that's actually not directly hitting the panel to hit the back side, um, you know, which, which is nice. You're going to get a little bit more power out of that, you know, right? Like you're going to get more power out of this 80-watt panel than just a normal 80-watt panel, but probably not going to get um, the same power that, the 100 watt panel gets right but um it's going to make that gap smaller and then like i said you do have those other benefits with here they're showing you know with a glass panel you definitely want to see this right you want to see that they have the corners protected right so they definitely have that covered and um you know the only the only downside you can see with this with this image though is that you know this is the size this is the size of it right i mean like compared to this girl i mean it, it's a pretty good size panel and it doesn't fold up right so you know if, if you're looking for something that that really you know folds up and you can kind of tuck away um the the 100 watt panel probably still be a better choice for you but um you know this handle does fold down and um you know this is it's it's glass it's very thin right so it's not going to be you know the 100 watt panel when you fold it up it is going to be a little bit thicker right so it just kind of really depends on, you know, what kind of space you have for this thing and, and where you're going to store it. Um, that could actually be, you know, pro or con either way. And then um, here on the, the getting more into the details of the listing here, they do mention, um, 
you know, hooking up 12 of these uh, simultaneously. Now, this is the only mention in this entire listing, um, like, like kind of uh, referencing the fact that you can actually uh, chain these things together, right? So actually on the, uh, the panel here, if we go back to this image real quick, is that, um, you know, they basically have the, out, you know, the output cable comes out this side, but they actually have an input on the opposite side, right? So if you had the, another one of these panels, you can plug it into this panel, right? And then you can just keep going, chain them together like that. Um, so they're saying you could do that up to, up to 12, 12 of them. But, you know, I don't, I don't know if these are, when you chain them together, if they're uh, chained in series or if they're chained in parallel. If someone knows, just leave a comment below. But, but actually, in this case, if you're using a Jackery unit, it really doesn't matter because series or parallel, you're going to, with 12 of them together, you're going to go, you're either going to go over voltage or over amps, right? Um, so I'm not exactly sure, you know, why they mentioned 12, but you could definitely do like three on each input. You know, these newer Jackeries, they have two inputs. You could definitely do three on each for like a total of six. The, the simple setup, right? So this is one of the, the main things that, um, you know, people who buy Jackeries, they like, right? I mean, like this thing, you basically, you know, you take it out of the, the bag and you just plug in that one cable and you're already charging, right? So, um, yeah, that's definitely something that they've, they've really um, fine-tuned and um, a lot of people just like that, that feature about them. Um, and then they're showing here too, it's, it's, this new panel is actually um, compatible with all Jackery power stations, right? All of them that have the 8 millimeter input. Now the cabling that they, that they do include with, the, with this new panel is that new 8020, right? So that's, that's the new 8 millimeter with the thicker pin. But they do mention in this listing that, they, that it does come with that little adapter to make it the, the smaller 8 millimeter size, which is what all these um, units here, you know, the, the older jackers, that's what they use. And then the, um, you know, the 1500 and the new Pro models use, use the, uh, the, the 8 millimeter with a thicker pin, right? So you wouldn't need that adapter, but it does come with it, right? So, yeah, so basically... Um, you know, all of the Jackery models. And then, uh, yeah, so that in integrated carrying bag, right? So that kind of like dual purpose. You know, I like to see innovative features like that, like kind of making uh, making use of, of something in more than one way, right? So there it is again, that, uh, that kind of reflective surface. And then you can just, um, when you're done with it, you can just pop it in and then zip it closed and it protects it as well, right? So, and then the, the two meter cable, again, this is, this is kind of nice because it does give you some flexibility with it being, you know, so two meters, six feet. And then, like I said, you can either plug it in right into the, the Jackery unit here like they have it, or you can have another one coming in to chain it to this one, right? And you can just keep going with that as we, as we talked about. Take a look at, this is, this is the new 100 watt panel that they're selling, you know, it's basically the same as the one they've been selling. It just, you know, it looks a little bit a little bit cleaner of a design on it. Um, this one does have USB, so if you want to just have, you know, be able to do direct USB off, the, off of this, off your solar panel, this is the only one that does it, right? That, that 80 watt um, bifacial one does not do that. So yeah, there's definitely just pros and cons to, um, to these two, two panels that actually have similar specs. But I think that's, that's, uh, that's something good that Jackery's offering this and it gives people the option, right? So depending on, you know, what, what you prioritize, what's important to you. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully, um, you know, you find this um, interesting or helpful. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.